One of the tools I have found most helpful for contacting needed DXCC countries is Hamalert. I'd like to show that to you tonight. Hamalert is a free program by Manuel Casper, HB9DQM. And one of the nice things about it, he's made it free to all of us. Hamalert works on PCs, Apple devices, and Android devices. I personally think it's much easier to set it up on the PC. So that's what I'll show in this presentation. Hamalert allows you to get notifications when a desired DX station appears on the radio. You can get those by email, uh, text, a number of ways that you set how you want to receive it. You can filter the spots in many different filters by country, call sign, IOTA, POTA, a CQ zone, and many, many others. So. I've logged on, and I think uh, this is the easiest way to check out this program. The first time you need to register, but it's free, and after that, it comes up real quickly. This would be the opening screen that you would see. I recommend when you first start, the first tab you go to is Destinations. On this one here, you're going to tell it how you want to receive your messages. So you want to check Enable Alert up here at the top. You would put your email address, and then if you want to get Hamlet by a device like your iPhone, you can enable push notifications. Uh, there's also a way to enable uh, Trima or SMS or Telnet or URL. I personally use email only, so that's the only one I've set. But after you've got your set, the thing you want to do is make sure you hit the save. After you set the destination, you'll want to set triggers. You'll go to the trigger tab. And when you first come to this, you'll have to set it all up. I've already got mine, but it'll become self-evident once you see how you do it. You, I'm going to hit edit. So you can select the mode. You could select literally dozens of modes and you can select them all or any combination. I have only selected four. I've selected Sideband, RIDI, FT8, and FT4. Obviously, if you were a CW operator, you would select CW. You can select as many as you like. Then you need to select what source you want to use. Uh, you have a number of options. You can do the SOTA Watch, uh, Reverse Beacon Network, Cluster, PSK Reporter, or POTA. I only use the cluster. But again, if I was a CW operator, I would have picked the Reverse Beacon Network as well. You can select any combination of these. Then you select what countries you want, and you'll get a list. And what I do, I went through and I select all of the countries that I do not have a confirmed contact from. And you just go through and check them. And once you've done that, uh, those will all be selected. The next thing you want to select are your, where you want the spots to come from. I only want spots from CQ Zone 3. It does me no good to see a spot that comes from Europe or Japan or even New England for that matter. So I have checked CQ Zone 3, which is the Western Zone uh, in the United States. And for my continent, I've picked North America. You can add a condition, like if you did not want any spots to come before 8 a.m. You could put a condition and that would um, eliminate any spots that came from midnight to 8 a.m. Then you pick your action. How do you want it? Do you want it by email? That's what I get it. But if you wanted it by your phone, you would check app. And that will tell you how, that's how it's going to give you the spots. Then you hit save. So now that we've got the destination and the triggers, we're going to go to the limit tab. You can limit the number of alerts per minute. I do per call sign. I have limited the number of alerts for the same call sign only once every two hours. You could limit it by call sign, band, and mode. You can limit it by call sign frequency and mode, and I do this one. I limit it to one every 10 minutes. And you could mark if you wanted to treat a soda watch separately, and that would do there. Again, make sure you save whatever you, you came up with. 
Now, this is a, a key part of the program. Once you have it all set up, it will work automatically. I find that I get about five or six spots a week uh, with it the way I have it set up, and I'm able to work at least 50% of those I get spotted. So that's really helping me get new countries. Now, it's really easy to get. You just go to hamalert.org and sign up. Then I encourage you to put it, uh, a hotkey on your memory bar there on your browser, and then you can get right back to it. Although once you set it up, I rarely uh, have to make any changes to it. I hope this program helps. It's a great tool. I really like it.